Cellular respiration in plants. Everyone can tell when we've had a good workout. We're out of breath, we're tired, we're sweaty, and our muscles may be shaking. These are visible signs that the cells in our bodies are carrying out cellular respiration to give us the energy we need to ride, jump, swim, and play. Cellular respiration is a process that also occurs in other organisms, like plants. But how can we tell that cellular respiration is happening in a plant? We're going to answer this question in just a minute by performing a simple experiment. Before we get started, remember, never touch or taste any chemicals, handle glassware carefully, and always wear your lab coat and safety goggles. Also, make sure you have your science journal handy to take down notes and record results. All right, here's what we'll need for this experiment. Two test tubes labeled A and B with stoppers, a test tube rack, 20 milliliters of bromothymol blue, five germinating seeds, and five boiled seeds. When respiration occurs in a plant cell, Glucose breaks down to form ATP. In case you're not familiar with the terms, glucose is a type of sugar, and ATP is a chemical that is used as energy within the cell. This process also releases carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide is colorless, odorless, and really hard to detect in the lab. So we're going to use bromothymol blue as a carbon dioxide indicator. Bromothymol blue is a chemical that changes color when carbon dioxide is present. Be careful with this. It can cause stains on clothing, and if you get it into your eyes, immediately flush them with water. Now, I've already poured 10 milliliters of the bromothymol blue into each test tube. I'm going to take the five germinating seeds and place them in test tube A and put the stopper on it. The five boiled seeds go into test tube B. I'll put the stopper on this one, too. I'll record the color of the test tubes in my data table. Then I'll come back in 24 hours to check the color. Okay, after 24 hours, it looks like the bromothymol blue is doing its job. There is definitely a color change in test tube A. I'll take a minute to write down my observations in the data table. All right, time to clean up and wash my hands. So here's the final data table. The germinating seeds in test tube A released carbon dioxide. We know this because there was a color change. But do we know why this is happening? Do you remember at the beginning of the lab, we said that cellular respiration involved taking sugar and breaking it down? Seeds of plants are stuffed full of sugars. Breaking those sugars down releases carbon dioxide. This allows the plant to harvest energy necessary to produce roots, shoots, and leaves. Remember, there wasn't a change in test tube B. The boiled seeds did not release carbon dioxide, so no color change was observed. Using this same basic procedure, we could compare the rate of cellular respiration between different plant types by observing how long it takes for different test tube samples to change color. So plant cells are working out all the time. They really do lots of work that we can't even see. Whoa, slow down there, buddy. It's my camera time, not yours. <laughs>